Hey YouTube, sorry for the whole look and everything. I just been uh, working long hours, working, jumping from second shift to first shift. But with that, it's giving me time that I can make videos. It opened up a window. All right, again, fifty-one fifty. This is Norman, the Green Lantern. All right, um, I'm gonna talk about why I started running nitrous bikes and why I prefer them over turbo bikes. All right, my first time ever having a nitrous bike was in 2008. 2008, I had my R1, which I had it set up for doing track, open track racing. Um, 2006, bought it in 2006. Came off from the dealership when I bought it. I had just put the exhaust on it, the air filter, the power commander, uh, basically it, that was the basic stuff I did. Alright, then turned around, I did a 520 kit, and the Vortex rear sets, i swing it around so y'all can see, did the Vortex rear sets. 520 with the sprocket it went 16 up front 47 in the back so that's one up I mean one down the front two up in the back then I turn around did the GPR stabilizer the bar ends frame sliders clutch slider on the other end and I did a super bike brakes and then I had the aftermarket fairings so I was gonna take it to the track and all that stuff all right Start running open track and all that stuff. End up um, basically high siding on the bike. Guy cut me off at the track. I end up hitting him. When I hit him, the bike flipped over, tossed me. All right, big deal. It didn't tear up anything. Still got the factory tank. You know, it made like a dent in it. But most of the thing was the triple tree and stuff that I had bought. So in that time frame. I hurt my shoulder and all that stuff. Well, I actually broke it. And uh, had a level 3 AC tear. And I was still trying to ride the bike after me and a friend put the bike back together. And I decided I was just going to stay to the street with it. And I was going to buy a different bike to take to the track because I had a lot of love and a lot of work into this bike. So I went and bought a Jixxer 1000. And it was a 2003, and it was a Matt Maladin, uh setup, right? So I ended up taking the motor out of this one, the stock motor, and putting a motor that I had built. And I had this motor built for actually the track, but I ended up setting it up to go drag racing later on. I'm going to get to that. All right. So with this motor that's in, it's got the Kibble Whites top end kit. It's got JE Pistons, Carrillo Rods, it's got the Barnett's uh, clutch system, it's got Brock's uh, clutch springs, all that junk. It's got the re-oil kit from McCoy Motorsports. Um, but it makes good power with the PC3 and the initial module, and I got the quick shifter and all that stuff, alright, and the muzzy fans and stuff. So... As you see, the bike's tore down right now. It's kind of I had somebody back into it that lives around the corner from me, and I've been taking stuff apart. I mean, I've been in there trying to get stuff cleaned out and all that stuff. About to take the whole nitrous system out because I do have another nitrous set up for it, and I'm going MPS, the Spider Racing. All right, I got that. All right, but before we get to that and all that stuff. Riding on the street, and I was racing my friend with his high boost and stuff, and yeah, it was fast, but I had a buddy who had a fully built Stage Street KWS built uh, Jixxon 1000, his name was King, and he was in the Navy, and I was in the Marine Corps, so we was always battling out, but he would always spray on me. I got tired of him spraying the nitrous on me, and he had like an 80 shot, and he just pulled away from me. So I was like, alright. So, went and bought me a nitrous system. And I bought 
of Zex, you know, kind of did some kind of research and all that stuff, and at the time, for the budget I had, it was a good idea, and I had the Zex, and then I had the Snits, uh, Progressive Controller and all that stuff, but I've outgrown it, I mean, I ran a 60 shot, and me and King glued this battle out, I ended up putting at the time, a 43 sprocket on it, which I have. I had a 16 up front and a 43 in the rear. Um, and stuff. Right. But the reason why I went nitrous other than the turbo, I looked at turbo systems. They were all like six grand starting out. And then when I did my research, it was another four grand to have it installed and buy a little extra accessories for the R1. Alright. I wanted good power, but cheap power. And Something that I wasn't going to be running all the time. So, with the Nitro system, it's only on when I turn it on. And it doesn't cost much to fill the nitrous bottle. I had a friend. He had a shop. Me and him kind of went. I started working for him at the shop. Well, I could fill my bottles up for free. That's the reason why I went nitrous. Alright, you got a bike that makes like 180 with everything done to it. With the comedic thin head gaskets and thin... Um, case gaskets and all that stuff and sprockets and all that stuff about in 180 range uh, with the full turgenomy exhaust and it's shortened and all that stuff it's shortened about 8 inches because the exhaust used to come out right here but it's there now um 60 shot put about 240 um white made real good power and the R1's they're real light they're like Bone stock, 383 pounds with the stock exhaust and everything. I've cut a lot of weight. I mean, I had carbon fiber air, box, I mean, air rams and all the carbon fiber junks. I mean, it was a fast bike. But, I ended up having a Hayabusa and I got rid of the Hayabusa for my first ZX-14, which was 06. But this is my 2015. I have an 06, 07, or 2015. The 06 has a blown motor right now. Um, and it threw a rod at the spun bearing and threw a rod. But um, in the process of getting that fixed and then the crush bike. But um, if you stay tuned later on down the line, I got some goodies to add. I was at the shop. I was working on the, the grudge bike. I got some stuff for you. So please stay tuned. And please like my video. I had a good conversation with my friend and he told me, and I will add that, why he does not like my videos. Even though he watches them and he repeats them back to me verbatim a lot of the times, but he will not like a, pit, a video. Alright. So why didn't you like my video? Cause hey, I don't like my bitches shit there. Why don't I like your shit, mister? You're supposed to uh, support black businesses. Hey, I do support myself. Alright, whatever. Hell. Oh, the van? Yeah. That was a road. She's coming along, right? I know, but I'm not going to see you at. I can't. I can't help it. I work all the time. Hey, just worry about this. Hey, I work all the time, man. Shit. You got the buddy network. You get to make your own hours. I do too, but I don't got the buddy network. I worked from 7 to 11 last night. 7 in the morning to 11 last night. And then what hours I wanted. Shit, I was ready to work from 7 in the morning to get up at 8 in the morning. Hell. Mm. What's your budget? Can I finish one of these? What's your name? Hey Rod, you wanna make an appearance for YouTube? Huh? You wanna make an appearance? Nah, nah. Why don't you put me on there? Cause then when, when you make that money, I'm 
I give you uh, 10%. Let me go ahead and type up these papers real quick. <laughs> Let me go ahead and type up these papers real quick. Let me go ahead and type up these papers real quick. Let me go ahead and type up these papers real quick. Let me go ahead and type up these papers real quick. Let me go ahead and type up these papers real quick. Let me go ahead and type up these papers real quick. Let me go ahead and type up these papers real quick. Let me go ahead and type up these papers real quick. Let me go ahead and type